Pleasure to meet you, sir. Tom, nice to meet you too. So, Tom, when you're composing a score for a Bond theme, there's got to be some... It's got to be pretty daunting trying to work your own style in with what one expects from Bond, surely. Uh, yeah, very, very much so. It's a, 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 a lot of times you feel like your personality is not so much what's at stake so much as the personality of the film and the personality of the music throughout the decades. Did you start, I mean, I, I know nothing about composing music for film. Did you start at the very beginning and work through? Um, you, you Clearly you see it from the beginning, but you find little moments that you, you, you get early and then you kind of, it's like puzzle pieces, you kind of find the corners and then, and then work into the, uh, to, 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 towards the beginning. If the beginning is daunting, you do something else. The reason I ask is obviously it starts with that very striking note that we all know. I was going to ask if that was the easiest bit to start with. Um, in a way, it is. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I guess you could argue. How do you get? How do you lend excitement? And it's such a moniker, it's such an iconic blast that it's a wonderful way to bring an audience in. And what do you hope in terms of your score? You know, what do you hope you have brought to the film with your score? Uh, excitement to the to the storytelling, a sense of being on the edge of your seat, of leaning into the experience as opposed to slumping back. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Pleasure. All right.